Hi there. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to get your Shopify API token directly from your Shopify store. This process is essential if you want to integrate third-party apps, connect custom services, or build your own private Shopify app using API credentials. So, without further ado, let's dive right in. The very first step is to log into your Shopify store as the administrator. Once you're inside your Shopify dashboard, look to the bottom left corner of your screen and click on Settings. Inside Settings, you'll find the option for Apps and Sales Channels. Click on that. Here, you need to enable custom app development in Shopify so that we can generate our own API keys and access tokens. Just confirm the setting when prompted. Once enabled, you'll see an option called Develop Apps. Go ahead and click on it. Now, click on Create an App and give it a name. For example, I'll just name mine Store Calculator. Then, set your store email as the app developer contact and click Create App. Now that the app has been created, you'll see different options such as Admin API Scopes and Storefront API Scopes. But before that, go to the tab called API Credentials. Here, Shopify will generate the important details you need, your API key, API secret key, and admin API access token. Remember, these tokens are extremely important for authentication, so copy and save them somewhere secure. You'll use them later whenever you're working with the Shopify API, connecting third-party services, or doing advanced store integrations. Next, you can configure your API scopes depending on what permissions your app needs. For example, you can enable product access, order access, customer data, or any other configurations your store requires. Once you're done selecting the right scopes, simply hit save. And that's it. You successfully learned how to generate Shopify API tokens and credentials using a custom app. This method works whether you're setting up a private Shopify app integrating with external software, or experimenting with Shopify developer tools. Hopefully this guide helped you out. If it did, make sure to drop a comment below and let us know. And if you'd like to see more Shopify tutorials, like how to connect APIs to Shopify, set up private apps, or configure Shopify developer settings, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss future videos. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.